हेलो गाइस टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट एजूर इवेंट हब सो वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इट इज व्हेन वी शुड यूज एजूर इवेंट हब एंड द बेसिक कंपोनेंट्स इन्वॉल्व इन एजूर इवेंट हब सो गाइस वी विल स्टार्ट विद सिंपल एक्सप्लेनेशंस एंड देन एज वी गो अहेड इन आवर अपकमिंग वीडियोस वी विल कवर ईच ऑफ द कंपोनेंट फ्रॉम एजूर इवेंट हब इन डिटेल ओके नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस व्हेन वी शुड यूज एजूर इवेंट हब सो it's a data streaming service and as a thumb rule we should use azure event hub when we need to deal with huge amount of data okay so data will flow from source to the destination via event hub as an example you can consider source as iot hub or kafka and the destination actually it's consumer group but uh, for simplicity consider azure function as an example of destination then you can use event up in big data then example we have iot devices which are sending millions of events per second there we can use and finally azure event up is secure and reliable now let us discuss about the components in azure event up so uh, we have this source or sender or publisher which will stream or which will send the data to azure event hub so it will stream data to this azure event hub and let's call it event hub 1 right now again a source or sender as an example it can be iot hub or it can be kafka and many more right now this azure event hub it will be present in namespace so namespace is a container for event hub so we will have this namespace over here like this so it's a namespace and a namespace it can contain multiple event hubs so event hub 1 event up to like that now let's try to understand the internal structure of event up okay so internally azure event up contains partitions so this is our event up okay and internally it can contain 32 partitions so this is a partition 1 partition 2 so like that it can have 32 partitions okay now in simple words consider event hub as highway and partitions as multiple lanes within that highway so more the number of lanes that mean that means more number of vehicles can pass that means better the performance so similarly because we have partitions within the event hub that's why this event hub it can handle huge amount of data because partitions they provide parallel processing of data okay now to read or to retrieve data from event hub we have consumer groups so again a single event hub it can contain one or multiple consumer groups okay so to read data from this event hub so we'll say read or retrieve we have consumer group so say this is our consumer group 1 again to read data from the same event hub we, we may have consumer group 2 like that as of now just consider consumer group as your application or a service which is interested to read data from event hub okay and as we discussed at the beginning we are going to cover each of this component in detail so for example uh, what is this partition then consumer group a consumer within consumer group then there is something called throughput unit so each of these components we are going to discuss in detail in our upcoming videos so thank you guys